With a basic network such as you see here, we can see the 192.168.30 network slash 24 is going to be going to a default route out to the internet at 30.254. Now let's say that instead of a static IP address of 30.2, we're getting an IP address from a DHCP server. In that particular case, if I want to reach the .2 network on the right, I'll need to have a special static route set up in the DHCP manager in our scope. Let's take a look and see how we can do that. I'm in DHCP on a Windows server, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my scope and go down to where it says Scope Options. I'm going to right click and choose configure options. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to choose the classless static route. And now I'll click add route. My destination is going to be the dot two network. So I'll put in the network mask. And then the router is going to be at 30.1. And that's how we're going to get to the dot two network through that 30.1 router since we're on the dot 30 network. And we'll click apply. And now what's going to happen is anytime we want to get to the dot two, it will go out through that other router at 30.1. But if you want to go out to the internet, it'll still go out through the default route at 30.254. So that is how we set up a static route in a Windows server.